Now, whether you slice the ball, hook the golf ball, or you just make really poor contact, this drill I'm doing right here will benefit every single one of you. It'll calm down your hook, it'll calm down your slice, and get you hitting the ball a lot crisper. So, I'm Jonathan Chan with J-Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So, what is this drill? As you can see, I've got it set up here. This is the classic and the famous Ben Hogan pane of glass visual but we're turning it into a drill so if a lot of you guys out there if you're ben hogan fans like i think probably every kind of avid golfer is especially with golf instruction you'll find this familiar because ben hogan always used to talk about he felt like the swing was swinging under a pane of glass that's in front of you that's angled coming around to around your neck going down and you're swinging underneath it. You never want to break that glass with your club. So let's talk about that a little bit because if I break that glass starting my downswing, so really from here, like the drill visual I've got here, if I hit this stick, that's gonna be a golfer who would swing a little bit more over the top. So you would hit this here, you would break the glass at the start of your downswing. So if you swing underneath this, that's how we said at the beginning, you can fix your slice by swinging underneath the pane at the start. But there's this part here, the pane of glass doesn't just stop here, it goes along you. So if you're a hooker of a golf ball, you hit the golf ball way left, you snap it all the time, you would be swinging quite on the inside. So you would hit the stick that I've got in front of me, just outside the ball line. So you'd hit and you'd break that pane of glass in front of you. So this is what's gonna promote what we call an in-to-in -in golf swing. So a lot of you out there probably think that's impossible to swing in-to-in, -in, but it's not, it's not. Ben Hogan, obviously, very clued up about it quite a while ago, this pane of glass kind of visual. So if we successfully swing underneath the pane of glass in our backswing, we're gonna have a nice, deep, top of the backswing position where our left arm is more across our shoulder plane and our hands are more either a little bit behind us on our heels or ankles at the top of our swing which is going to encourage us to swing on a good path on the way down so me swinging underneath the pane here so on this side that's going to encourage an inside path on the downswing and then if i'm missing the pane of glass in front of me here so on the exit portion so the stick i've got that's going to encourage my club to exit around my body so what i'm not doing here i'm not pulling it back and i'm not pulling it through i'm not doing that so what i'm actually doing i am swinging and i am turning my body I'm turning my body in the backswing turning and rotating my body on the downswing that's how we get the hands going in and around to miss this naturally on the backswing your hands follow wherever you're rotating. So if I rotate back here, I'm gonna have no problem missing this stick. And then if I continue to rotate through, the hands will naturally start to exit left around my body. So that's how I can get those hands exiting left without swinging out to in. It's all about that rotation. So if you have that rotation in your mind and how that's the ultimate way to do this, don't wanna be pulling everything in, you're going to have, again, no problem in missing this. But this is just going to give you that extra incentive, that extra visual. It's a visual you can take out on the golf course really nicely as well to do exactly what you want to do. Fix your slice. This will be fixing your hook because we won't be exiting that club way on the outside. You'll be traveling a little bit more neutrally through the ball. And you'll be hitting some really nice golf shots. So just get the reps in from here. How you can see I've got this set up. I've got a swing plate where I've got a link down in the description for a discount if you want a discount on the swing plate. Ideally, I'd say get two of them to where you can put one here and one at the front. So the front here, I've just got an alignment stick with an extension pole on the alignment stick as well to where we're getting it at a 45 degree-ish angle. We just want to imagine again that that pane of glass is there and we're not hitting it at any point. That's gonna get you putting these in the right place. It's just half a ball out, or half a club's way outside the ball line about half club behind the golf ball for the back one. And the same thing for the front one, half a club in front, half club in front of the ball line there. Then get those reps in, make sure you're rotating back, rotating through. It's gonna fix your slice, it's gonna fix your hook. You're gonna be hitting the golf ball way, way better. And then of course, once you're done with all of that, take your stuff away for a few reps. Let's chuck that down there. Imagine that same thing, pane of glass, swinging underneath it. Once you've done enough of them, you've got a good feel. 
swing back, swing through, be playing way better. So, if you enjoyed the video, of course, click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So, cool little drill here, Ben Hogan's pane of glass visual. Let's do it as a drill and let's have a really simple thing like this improve your golf massively.